and my first big break was actually Star Trek Voyager. They saw thousands of girls for this role, a whole bunch of little eight-year-olds, and it was to play Seven of Nine as a little girl, Annika Hansen before she became a Borg, and I got cast as uh, Seven of Nine. Annabelle's my baby, so I've been working on it for the past couple years. I've written a full-length screenplay on it, and this past couple months, I've been working on producing and putting out a short film uh, for funding for the whole project. I'm hoping I can get funding so I can film the whole movie. Um, so I do have a short film version of Annabelle's Box on YouTube right now. It's uh, titled Annabelle's Box Short Film, so it's very easy to find. But I did it with a whole bunch of CSULA, Cal CLA students, and we were able to use the music building and the fine arts building and actually make it look like a hospital. So anyone who is it from Cal State LA that has seen it? And they're like, oh, that's a really cool hospital. Where'd you go? And I'm like, oh, it's actually Cal State LA campus. Depends on the audition. Um, some auditions you have to have high amounts of energy, where other auditions you need to have minimal, very serious, controlled energy. So depending on the role, comedy, I'll usually hug myself up, make sure I work out, make sure I have some coffee or an energy drink. Um, as for drama, I really feel like I need to meditate and kind of get in the zone and experience that they had in it and for my first screenplay going as far as it did. Remembering who you are, no matter how far you get in life, no matter what you do in life, you're always what's in here and um, it's important to always remember where you came from and how hard you work to get where you are because if you forget that and you forget about hard work, you kind of lose who you are.